if you want the short um, summary of my lecture is please don't look at England because England is not a model, I think, for where you want to go. I think that it's led to a worrying picture of fragmentation um, of our system, of unhealthy competition, and a narrow conception of learning and a widespread demoralization among the professionals in our system which means that this is a story that I think will eventually end badly. And that alliance is um, an unholy alliance, if that term makes sense, between top-down centralising government of the centre-right and a whole range of third sector, voluntary and increasingly private interests. I call them the new educational evangelists because they have a sort of evangelistic energy. They really, I think we have to credit them with sincerity. They believe that they have, they've taken over a ailing and rotten public uh, state education system and they are transforming it. You know, that th if the original aim was to improve public systems, I think if I look at my side of the school wars, and school wars is just a, a term. I think those of us who believed in good neighbourhood schools, those of us who believed in comprehensive education, non-selective schools, those of us who thought teachers were on the whole doing a good job, we didn't, we weren't smart enough, we weren't quick enough to come up with our own plans for improvement. And that opened a space up for a mix of you know, powerful political, powerful government and um, new economic interests to come in and transform our system. If you have a highly competitive, individualised system where schools are competing and teachers are competing within schools to get better results, how can the vision of your system be anything other than highly individualistic? However, I wonder for how long we will have free education. Already you have cases of schools that charge parents this and that for things. And there was an interesting case where the school that the Prime Minister and the Education Secretary sent their daughter, which is a highly um, successful London State School, rather selective but successful, every parent that got a place was asked to write a cheque for £100. A lot of the academy chains, which we were told were going to make schools really efficient and good, are not doing very well. And actually, when you look at the results of the academies and free schools, these new schools that the government have promoted, they are not doing any better in their own terms than the schools connected to the local authorities, the other kind of state schools. In England, that's not the case. We there. We believe education is best if you pay for it, or you travel to access it, or you compete to win it, or you defeat someone else in order to access it. What about returning to the idea of less choice and more of a rich educational experience locally as a human right? The kind of ideas that Diane Ravitch has put forward and that have seemed to work in Finland. And part of that means a highly trained, specialised and skilled teachers.